man. You could fix gambler's addiction. No, I can't. I make it worse. I don't actually endorse real life gambling. Don't be careful with your money. I got, I got asked about doing a gambling sponsorship and I was like, I wouldn't feel right doing this because I know my aesthetic is gambling and all, but it's like, I don't want to like, I don't want to enable people actually gambling. Like, cause that shit can ruin someone, right? It's like, I don't know. I, th that just feels bad to me. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could actually do a gambling sponsorship. Fully embrace it. No. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to be held accountable for people losing all their money. That's, no. Apollos are Dante and every gambler is a sinner. I think there's more than, I think there's more than, <laughs> I think there's more than like 12 of us. I, I would be number 13, I guess, because I'm, I, no, number 13 is is Gregor, but I, if I'm Dante, that means there's 12 other sinners. There's a lot, there's a lot more sinners here now, I guess. Yeah, there's just a few, uh, if we're counting every, a gambler as a follower, then there's, uh, maybe, maybe a few more, uh, gamblers than there are sinners. One thing to make something your aesthetic, it's another actually endorse it. Yes. Like, if someone makes their character, like, I don't know, funny, funny alcohol guy, right? I just said, you <laughs> this tries to, I, I mean, I think it's okay that I don't fully, I don't fully embrace the gambling thing. I like it as an aesthetic. Sinners are the goons who ate along the way. I mean, lost is a sin. Yeah, the most fun parts about slot machines are like the, the little lever thing. If you buy like, I don't know, you know like how people make, okay, this is gonna sound stupid, like the toy ones, like, like little fake ones where you put in like a toy quarter and then you, and then you fake gamble. There you go, there's the high. Or in a video game with no microtransactions. No, no, no. Azure Lane. Isn't that the one where, where there was the one, the one anime girl that was like all over my timeline that had the really big boobs. So people were like, why does she have big boobs? Edgers are like gamblers. Both stop when they are going to hit the big. Okay, <laughs> the big. Edging girls, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet, Lenore. Often saying this, you, you oh uh, putting Lenore and Eskew in the same room is like is like hell. These two these two would like oh you guys are ping ponging like awful ideas off each other. Oh that scares me. The latest Kirby game is a gotcha pod machine. Oh there's that there's that in a few different games I play. I mean if we're being real is Hades also technically a gambling game? I mean there is random things you will get. I mean it is true. <laughs> Let's go gambling. No. Shh. Randomized scenes gambling. Lenore? Lenore? Hey, hey, Lenore? Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What the fuck do you mean letting someone else goon you? What does letting someone else goon you mean? <sighs> yeah, you can do stuff with the RNG. That is true. But I mean, there are some... Let's go gambling. No, I'm not doing that. It's gambling under... Everything's a gamble if you think hard enough. Life too is a gamble. When I wake up in the morning, it's a gamble. <laughs> urethra. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, funny urethra. That was... That was... Oh, man. I don't know where... When did urethra become a joke of mine? I guess that makes sense, though. Urethra. Jesus Christ, what has my life come up to until this point? Dude, I, I need to reevaluate. <laughs> I'm very proud of you, Uo. Thanks, I'm really proud of you too, Lenore. I'm really proud of you too. So like Chuck E. Cheese, fake gambling. But you're still spending money at Chuck E. Cheese. I am not a goon tuber. Bro, what is, what does that fucking mean? <laughs> if I was a goon tuber, I would be on fucking, I would be on like a not safe for streaming site because I would be too busy jerking off, dude. <laughs> You guys are really interesting. I want to beam a positivity right to you. Yeah, uh, Lenore, you've been so, you're so positive all the time. I'm happy for you. You're, you're, you're a very cool guy. You're very cool. You're always very positive. I, I wish to have that energy. That's very cool. Let me in. In where? Into my brain? No thanks. I, I'm out of the, you're outside my, you're outside my window? It doesn't look like you are. You're not always jerking on stream? Why the fuck am I even here? You know, let me in, it's hot, stay out there. I- listen, man. Listen, man. Jerking it all day. It, <laughs> I can't get to do this bit. Nope. Nope, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. Lenore teleports like Goku anytime he feels sad. It is kind of true. Lenore does message me, like, as soon as I'm sporadically feeling sad, and I'll be like, oh, it's Lenore. Hi. Goonie? You, when you need positivity, don't look at chat. No, you guys give me- you give me positivity, but you also are, like, the horniest motherfuckers I've ever seen. Like, you're unsatiable. It's like, it's like... 
<laughs> no matter how much you talk about penis, you'll need to continue. Pot me kettle. Okay. That is kind of, that is kind of fair. It will, it will feet well? Uh, a Freudian slip? Feet well? Huh? <laughs> Oh my god! The movie's a bed for intercourse! Yeah, that is, that is, uh, you know, that is fair. I, I thought about, I was, like, thinking about that. I was like, that is so great. That is, like, you know, that is, that is an interesting thing. Good for them. Feet drooling face. You! <laughs> what do I even say? What did I do to be called one of the horniest motherfuckers? Uh, be a part of an Opalu VA stream. Be in the Opalu VA chat. You guys, you guys will just say anything, won't you? You guys will just say anything, won't you? I appreciate, I appreciate watching me like break down over some of the things you guys say. Of all this army that you can't control them, like a pack of wild weasels. That is kind of you guys. You're like a pack of wild weasels in human form. Best streamer, worst gambler, best gooner. Excuse me? <laughs> oh. Uh, can I plead for innocence? No. Of course you just say anything. That's true. I also do just say anything. I want to test my gambling luck with you. No. Everyone should have a Lenore in their lives. I agree. Lenore will come in and say whatever the fuck they're thinking. We need to gamble together head on. No. <laughs> Mostly because I know I know my ass will get beaten. I know I know like I will just suck at gambling and you'll do great. Can I plead for a bigger sentence? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what that implies. Oh my god. <laughs> Arknights, you're setting like Sunil. I, I just, all I know about Arknights is my friend Sunil plays it. And he makes videos on it. He likes Arknights. He's like, you should play Arknights. I see that a lot from him. You should play Arknights. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Arknights, you should play it. Um, I don't really know much about it, to be honest with you. Depends if you like tower defense. I can play balloons. I'm your only friend? When, hey, when did that happen? When it... Hey, Lenore, when did you become my only friend? I'm unaware of these new updates. It seems I've- it seems I've missed the, uh... It seems I've missed the new patch of Opalu VA live. Uh, live, uh, live. Uh... Dungeon messy- uh, I forgot about that. I guess they are getting on soon. I think I heard about that once. Cause I saw something about Senshi. Not play ZZZ, no. I'm not playing ZZZ. <laughs> I- I fell off of Hoyoverse games so hard. I tried Honkai Star Rail, I really did, but I don't know. They're eye candy, but gameplay is not my thing at all. I- I don't know. Uh, the characters are really hot though, so I will continue voicing porn of them. I am un- I am- <gasps> Thank you for the- thank you for the raid. Thank you. Hi everyone. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yippee! How did it go? What were you streaming? I want to know. I can't see. I wish they would tell me what people stream when they're rating me. I would ask questions. Hiya! Have a very fun time, Lenore. Fallen Aces? I've not... I've not heard of that. I... In terms of... In terms of gotcha, I really just do rhythm games that also have idols in them. But the one I primarily... Uh, use is the one I primarily play is Project Sekai. Oh, Monster Hunter Worlds! Oh my gosh, I need to play Monster Hunter. I have, I have, I have one of the games bought, but I forget which one it was. I played like an hour of it on Switch, and then I kind of just forgot to continue it. I don't think I wasn't interested. I think I just kind of was like, I could get back to this later, which is an issue with a lot of games for me. I'll remember and then kind of forgore. I forgore. Oh, that sounds fun. I, I literally, my primary gotcha games are Project Sekai and Limbus Company. And Limbus Company is like very, very forgiving. Like if you want a character or like a new a new thing that just released, you could just really just play the game for like a little bit. Cookie Run Kingdom. I was really into Cookie Run Kingdom for a while, but then I kind of fell off. Yeah, I Olympus Company. Oh, Olympus Company. I very normal about that game. Very normal about that game. Very. I'm just saying if you if you hire me for Project Moon Porn, I mean. I'm, <laughs> I mean, you I don't know if you're really cool. I've been trying to, I wanted to like post that. I was like, I, I want people to hire me for Project Moon voice acting stuff, but I don't really know how to say that without sounding really stupid. <laughs> but I really, I really do. I, I would really like to voice more Project Moon stuff. I'm currently working on a commission and I'm currently about to work on another one uh, next week uh, about a Project Moon one. Oh, it's you. Yes. Oh, dude. You making that audio, like, inspired me so much. I literally got emotional. That- Pew! 
Peter from Family Guy? No way! Welcome to the casino! <laughs> Welcome to the casino, Peter from Family Guy. That's crazy. It's such an honor. <laughs> Project Moon, ASMR 1. I remember Amy brought up, like, that she thought it'd be really funny to do, like, Carmen ASMR. Like, just telling telling the listener to distort over and over. I think that would be pretty funny. That'd be- I think that'd be pretty- pretty silly. Um, but yeah. I- I was super- I was super inspired when you made that Honglu audio based off my Ishmael one. That made me like- that made me so happy. I was like, oh my god! Ah! That was so- oh! I saw you did some scripts too. I was looking into them. I know you said you did a Ryoshu one. I don't know if I looked at that one yet, but I know you did Horrors of Love Town RP ASMR? That's how to lose, like, half of my fan base quick! <laughs> Any non-Project Moon fans, like, looking at my stuff be like, what the fuck is- <laughs> I thought that said horrors, it said heroes. I mean, that's the same thing. Yeah, I saw you posting scripts. I think it'd be fun to do more, uh, more Project Moon stuff. I know me and Amy were discussing ones for Ryoshu, like a- like a Chef Ryoshu one and all Contempt one. Um, because that new Ryoshu Ego is really good. She's- she's really pretty. Project Moon is Limbus Company, Library of Ruina, uh, and Lobotomy Corporation. Uh, and they are games that are very good. But it kind of depends on what sort of games you like, if you'll like them. Because Lobotomy Corporation is a lot different than the other two games. Yeah, Contempt Ryoshu is gorgeous. Yeah, she's, she's really something. Project Moon is one big rabbit hole, very true. Acclaimed voice actress? I don't know if acclaimed is a word for it. <laughs> Playing the pro Sega event at the last hour, and you missed the event o rewards ASMR. Jesus Christ. Oh, Red Eyes. Yeah, they've been- they really like Red Eyes. Like Geometry Dash, Brain Rot? No. Like, how do I- Lobotomy Corporation is, is a monster management simulator, as they call it. But it is so much more than that. And it's stress simulator, more like. You you play it and immediately you feel like a hundred times more stressed coming out than you are coming in. <laughs> you come in, you're like, this is gonna be so fun! And then you leave a few hours later being like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, they, they really like red eyes for her. They, they really like it. It's like SCP management sim, but even more of a nightmare. Yes, exactly. Acclaimed and famous, world renowned. I don't know if that's true. Maybe. I don't know. I don't really I don't really know how popular I am. I can't really get a good gauge of it. I don't think I don't think no matter how uh, how much my stuff's like posted or whatever or I don't know. I, I don't think I could ever gauge how popular I am. Cause I it's hard to compare myself to a safe work creator. Job management with extra <laughs> Uh it's Every time I enter the funny green site, there's a high chance to find you there. Dude, I feel so bad for my friends because they're like, now I have to actually look at the voice actors when I'm <laughs> when I'm when I'm looking at porn. I'm like, I have to I have to look at the voice actors and make sure you're not voicing in it. One of my friends said, now I just can't look at any Project Moon porn. If it has voice acting, it's gonna be you. I just know it. And I'm like, yeah, my fault. <laughs> Pretty seasoned and popular, if anything. I guess so. Seasoned, I don't know. I guess. I guess a little bit. Claimed and famous. That's nice. I can say I'm at least pretty popular. I mean, I I can't deny that at this point. But yeah, um, Project Moon is awesome. And if you haven't checked it out, I would say check out- I would not be salt. If I was a spice, I would not be salt. I'm not that salty. I mean, we do- we do have a salt god in chat, though. It's just a mod. I don't know if you guys saw him earlier. Uh, a certain, a certain, uh, sweaty gamer, perhaps of old, um, who is- I mean, if- if he was- I mean, I think he would be salt. I don't know. <laughs> Suck about boss pissing it. Ahem. <clears throat> mm. Shawty is like a melody and my- that's all I got. What'd you think? That was my Saka Bombas's cover. If you heard- if you heard funny, shoddy, like a melody song, then- then you're not a true Apollo VA fan. People who really have the magic in their heart, they listened. They heard it. They heard the really beautiful, uh, Saka Bombas's song. Um, in its entirety. Uh, and the rest of you, well, you just gotta give me $200, maybe then you'll be a real Apollo VA fan.